Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have another collaboration tutorial with my friend Alessandro Boncio, who has been playing with the new particle system in Cinema 4D 2024. So we're gonna do our first particle tutorial. And we're gonna be recreating this shot right here from Ghost in the Shell, where we have these particles that sort of dissolve with this nice kind of noise pattern. Uh, let's jump into 2024. Make sure you have the latest version of Cinema 4D. So I have all the new stuff docked over here, but uh, it's under simulate. There's a whole bunch of new stuff under particles. So you can just tear this off and um, dock it wherever you want. So I just kind of tore it off and I docked it over here. So that's just where you'll find them if you need them. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a particle emitter. So don't use the uh, legacy one here, but use the new section up here, which is the basic emitter. And then underneath is the mesh emitter. So we're gonna make sure that we have our figure highlighted. Then we're gonna add a mesh emitter and it's gonna be emitting particles from this mesh. So we don't want them shooting out, we want them to be still. So we're gonna to go to properties and under speed, we'll put that to zero. We'll go back to emission and we're gonna change the kind from surface to volume. And then we have a voxel size that pops up. And the voxel size, if you've used the volume builder, this number will be pretty uh, obvious to you. So if it's a lower size, it will be a lot more accurate to uh, this geometry here. All right, let's actually turn off the geometry so we can see what's going on here. All right, so here's what we have. They are, since they're not shooting out now, they're just spawning here, but we want them all to go in one shot and then be done instead of continuously spawning. So instead of constant, we can change this to shot. And then we have to make sure we have a lot in the count. So we'll just start with a thousand. We'll see what that looks like. It should just uh, take one frame to spawn all of them and then it will stop spawning. All right, so that's what we have so far. And now we need to have them slowly dripping and falling down to have that transition. So we're gonna do that with a field. So we're gonna add this new field condition here. So we have a field condition, we're gonna add that. And in the field condition, we can now use fields, which you should be pretty familiar with. And we're gonna start with just a regular old linear field. Before we do that though, let's add some gravity. So here's our gravity up here. We're gonna go ahead and add a gravity and we're gonna change the uh, acceleration to 50. So there's not too much and we'll just see what that looks like. So everything's falling. We're gonna use this field uh, to uh, specify what parts of the gravity are going to be affecting this object. So in this field, we have uh, a linear option here. So we're gonna put linear. We're gonna change that to minus, no, plus Y. And then we're gonna tighten up the field a little bit. And we'll move it up here. So we'll make sure that's pretty narrow. All right, so we want this linear field to affect the gravity. So click on that gravity and under the fields tab, we're gonna drag that linear field. And now if we hit play, you'll see exactly what's going on. So wherever that field is, it is affecting the gravity and whatever's below it is not affected. So now we can just animate this field so that it goes through the object and then we'll have them all sort of dripping and oozing down. Let's turn on our figure. Let's go back to our field and let's move it all the way to the top. Go to frame zero and make a keyframe. We'll go to frame 70 or so. Put it all the way down past the feet. Make another keyframe. All right, so that is looking perfect. The only problem is this is very linear, obviously. So we need to break this up with some noise patterns. And we also need to add a tracer. So the tracer, we're going to make sure we click on the mesh emitter. We're gonna click on this cloner and click the tracer. All right, so we should have this being traced now. And actually, I just remembered something. Instead of the mesh emitter, we don't actually want that to be the trace link. We want it to be this particle group folder. So make sure that particle group folder is in there, and then we'll have our tracer working. Now, we do want to make a couple tweaks really quick here. Instead of the limiting to none, we want to limit it from end. and We want the amount to be six so that these lines are a lot shorter. All right, you can see that we are starting to slowly build up on this effect and it's coming together. Now we just have to add some noise and we should be in business. So we'll go back to that field condition and in this field section, we're going to add a shader field. In that shader field, we are going to add a noise. So we'll add noise and we're gonna change the noise to something very blocky like cell noise. All right, now you're not gonna be able to see anything because it is not actually affecting the gravity yet. So we have to go into the gravity and in that field section, we also need to drag and drop this shader field. Mm -hmm. Now we need to blend these two. So on the top one, we're gonna change it from normal to clip. So we're blending these two and now we should have that effect. There we go. So we have this really nice oozing, dripping effect of these particles and they're transitioning off. 
All right, so that looks really cool. And from here, we should probably just add some extra particles. So in the count, let's add an extra zero, do 10,000. And now that effect is going to look really, really cool. All right, so that is our first particle tutorial. Super fun to play with. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this, make sure to check out our Octane Texture Pack 8 VFX, which has a lot of textures that are inspired by Ghosts in the Shell, as well as a lot of other blockbuster Hollywood films. It has hundreds of incredible textures for Octane, and I think you'll enjoy that. So check it out. Thank you for supporting the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.